we are at the interface between science and policy, as uh, that's the obvious reason why why we are uh, why I'm in, invited to this uh, session, because we are on the one hand support science through our support for CJIR and other, other international agricultural research institutions. So where we look continuously on what comes out of the research pipe in terms of uh, relevance for development impact. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's our main aim. We are putting a lot of money into the CG system and we are in, uh, constantly involved in the discussions about the uh, direction of uh, research. Uh, on the other hand, we are advising our policy makers here in Germany from the uh, Environment Ministry, from the Agriculture Ministry, from the Development Cooperation Ministry, and we are advising, advising also institutions in, in, uh, in uh, national governments and others in uh, developing countries. But we are also designing programs. So, and that's why, why we need the science uh, uh, and this, uh, academia and scientists uh, much. Because CSA as such is a complex uh, uh, concept or undertaking. We have these three pillars, uh, like has been said before. We have the uh, food security, nutrition, uh, income uh, dimension from agriculture, which is our traditional uh, 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 direction where we come from and where we have clear targets through set through SDG2, through other commitments of G7 and G20. So it's uh, our programs more or less are traditionally designed around these um, uh, uh, um, targets uh, to, to produce the numbers for this. If it comes now to climate change and climate adaptation, there we have the problem evidence is missing. Yeah? So these are in a way, co-benefits of the food security and, in and, and rural income dimension, where we say, okay, we are also doing something for adaptation, we're also doing something on mitigation. But if we want to sell our approaches uh, to the climate change people and to the growing amount of funding which is available through the climate change windows, then we come into trouble because there are no, it's not enough evidence what we are actually contributing to the 2% goal, to the to the aim of uh, adapting to vulnerability risks and, and so on. So that's why we need science and that's why we involve more and more uh, CGR centers and other centers like or as well SEAT and, and in our uh, programs and where we, where we need help from, from them. And this I see is the main reason why uh, agriculture is such an orphan or a neglected child in the climate change discussions because it's so complex. And without the input of, uh, of the scientists, we cannot move further.